Welcome to this winter 2018-19 outlook for Arizona and Southeast California. By now you've probably heard about this El Nino that will be impacting the Pacific Ocean this winter and we have seen sea surface temperatures steadily warming over the past several months and in this red box we're seeing the temperatures beginning to reach El Nino thresholds. Really much of the Pacific Basin has been warmer than normal, but really it's the tropical Pacific that's most important. The North Pacific changes fairly rapidly and will change as uh, several storm systems gradually increase across the Gulf of Alaska and North Pacific. So what we're looking at is better than a 70% chance of El Nino developing and persisting through the winter. The trend will be towards this El Nino going to a more neutral state as we head into the spring. The forecast models have been consistent in showing uh, at least a weak El Nino uh, above 0.5 degrees Celsius through the winter. However, there is growing evidence that a period of moderate El Nino conditions may form in the middle of the winter, though the difference in weather impacts between the weak and moderate El Ninos for the southwest United States may be fairly negligible. The temperature trends uh, historically have shown a decided advantage towards warmer than average temperatures across the entire western United States during these weak events. This is especially true during the weak events over the past 30 years. Add in the fact that the southwest region has steadily been warming over the past 70 years and the, the odds are really tilted towards warmer than average. In fact, the past five years and seven of the past 10 years have been warmer than average, and that includes 2015 and 2017, which saw the two warmest winters on record. So looking at the first three months of 2019, uh, the odds are definitely tilted towards warmer than average conditions over the entire western United States. For Phoenix and Yuma specifically, there's a 44% chance of above normal temperatures on average over these three months. Uh, over the past several years, this has been a consistent signal, so there's no reason to think that it won't happen again. Precipitation is a little more inconsistent during the week events. Um, there's some areas that trend a little bit wetter than average. However, it's not a consistent signal across the entire region. Also, in the longer term, there's really no trend over the past 70 years. However, it can be noted that six of the eight past winters have seen below average precipitation, with only 2017 seeing an above normal year. This has really contributed to the uh, long-standing prolonged drought over the entire region. So when we look at the precipitation forecast for the first three months of 2019, the odds are slightly tilted towards above average precipitation totals, but this is only a very slight tilt. In Phoenix and Yuma, there's about a 35 to 40 percent chance of above normal precipitation. However, it should be noted that there's still a 25 to 30 percent chance that the precipitation totals in the beginning of 2019 could be below normal. We thank you for listening to this Winter Outlook, and we urge you to bookmark our homepage and follow our watches and warnings as we head through the winter season. Also, please look for us on Facebook and Twitter, where we add interesting graphics and images to enhance the weather experience in the Southwest over the winter season.